Let us begin with the installation of SAP Business Objects BI 4.1 Edge Edition. In this video, we will see hardware and software requirements, understanding the prerequisite for SAP BO BI 4.1, step-by-step -step installation. For this installation, we will need two setup. One is for server, other is for client. The server setup would be SAP Business Objects BI Platform 4.1 SP01 setup and for client it would be SAP Business Objects BI Platform Client Tools. The hardware and software requirements are hard disk 100 GB, RAM 4 GB minimum, operating system would be Windows Server 2008 64-bit or higher version which should also be 64-bit. We will need .NET Framework 3.5 or higher version as the prerequisite for uploading SAP. And the browsers we can use would be Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. Firstly, we need to register ourselves at the SAP website. Then we will get an email which will have the code key which is valid for 30 days. Then we need to download the five essential parts. The first four parts are for server and the fifth part is for client. We need to download server part 1, server part 2, server part 3, server part 4 for the client server side and client tools for client side. After downloading this, we can extract them. After you download the four parts of server, you can extract them in a file which would be named as 5104678 go to data units, business object server and then you should run the setup. Let us wait till the installer loads. Choose the setup language to be English and click on OK. Then it checks the prerequisites. You need to have the administrative rights, .NET Framework, Suppressed Reboot and Windows version. Suppressed Reboot is the most common error. If it occurs, you can simply restart your system and it will go. You can go on Next. If you are ready for the setup installation, click on Next. Accept the agreement license and click on Next. Enter the product key which you have got by this code key will expire in 30 days. You can choose the language package. You can choose multiple languages like Italian, Japanese, Korean and you can also choose all languages. We will go with the default option to choose English and go with the next. For the installation type we will choose the full setup and go with the next. This is the configuration of destination folder. You can configure it or you can choose the default. We'll go with the default option and click on next. For configuring the database, you can choose the default database or the existing database. As we are not taking the existing database, we'll go with the default that is Sybase SQL Anywhere database and click on next. We'll need to have Java Web Application Server. For this, we will choose Tomcat Java Web Application Server, which will automatically deploy web applications. And we'll go with the next. For version management, we'll go with the subversion. And we'll configure and install it. And we'll click on next. For the SIA port, that is Server Intelligence port, the node name is coming to be Windows, we can make it BO node and this SIA port number will be 6410 and we'll click on next. The CMS information would be CMS port, the default port number is 6400. Here a CMS account is configured. This is an administrative account, so you need to provide the password. The password policy has uppercase, lowercase numbers and special characters.
you need to provide the cluster key information also you can keep the password for it same or you can choose another password we can click on next after entering the password please remember this password as this is the administrative account password then you need to provide with the DBA account password you can keep it oracle123 you need to confirm the password and click on next the tomcat configuration would ask you for connection port, shutdown port and redirect port we can go with the default option to be connection port as 8080 shutdown port to be 8005 and redirect port to be 8443 and we will click on next to configure the HTTP listening port, we need to provide with the port number. We'll go with the default value to be 6405 and click on Next. Now we need to configure the subversion. The sub subversion repository port number is 3690 and the repository user account will be named LCM. You need to provide with the password. We can keep the password to be repository. You need to confirm the password. You need to use uppercase letters, lowercase letters for the password and click on next. You can configure to connect to SMD agent or you can choose not to configure with it. If you choose to configure, you need to provide with the host name and the port number. If you choose not to configure it, you will not have to provide with the port number and you can directly jump on next step. Then you need to configure the connectivity to Introscope Enterprise Manager. Similarly here also, you need to provide with the host name and the port number. And if you go with to not configure it, they will give you the default value. You can go on next. If you are ready for the installation, you can click on next. Your installation process has started. It will take quite some time for it to install. So you can wait till then. Once your installation is complete, you can see the post installation steps. You can read them and then you can click on next. You can click on finish. Your SAP Business Objects BI Platform 4.1 SP01 has been successfully installed. After you complete the SAP server side installation, you can download the client side and you can extract it in the folder 510467. Go to data units, business object client and run the setup. After downloading the client site, you can extract it. It will come under the folder 510461.
seven 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 underscore one click on data units business object client go on setup and run the setup wait till the installer loads select the setup language to be English and click on OK you should check the prerequisites if all have the status has succeeded you can click on next if you are ready for the installation you can click on next you need to accept the license agreement and then you can click on next you can choose the language package you can choose multiple languages and you can choose all languages we will go with the default option to choose single language that is English we will click on next you can select the features you want for the client tools that is client components can be choose by you web intelligence rich client business view manager report conversion tool universe design tool query as web service information design tool and translation management tool data federation administration tool widgets developer components you can select all the features you want and then you can click on next we'll go with the default and we'll click on next now you can click on next to start the installation your installation has been started it will take some time for the installation to complete after your installation is complete you can click on finish and your installation has been complete for both server side and client side you can go on start menu all programs SAP business intelligence and you can see SAP business objects BI platform 4 which is the server side setup and this is the client side SAP business objects BI platform 4 client tools <coughs> you can see BI platform you can run SAP business object BI platform Java BI launcher to see you can go on central configuration manager to see Tomcat server is running and server intelligence node agent is running so you can see the status as running and running and then you can go on BI Launchpad. You will provide with the username as administrator. And you will provide with the password to be as we have given at the time of administration account password. And you can click on log on. you can see the local host and the port number as 8080 now you can see the administration home page you can see all the applications over here you can also choose your application from here you can open an application like BI Workspace. See you can have a new BI Workspace which can be under group, navigation list, text module, viewer or web page module. You can also see information steward, crystal reports for enterprise, module, web intelligence, all these applications from administrator home page
you can add a text module or a compound module. You can launch your CMS to configure it. You need to provide with the username and password. This is the password I asked you to remember and the authentication type would be enterprise. You can log on. You can see the system configuration wizard. You can click on next. You can configure Crystal Reports, Dashboards, Data Federator, Lifecycle Manager and Web Intelligence. You can click on them and click on Next if you want them to auto start when the server starts. And click on Next. Here you can see how much capacity you have. You can see the number of nodes you have made. We have made only one node that was BO node and you can provide with the RAM requirements and you can click on next you can specify the folders you want the input file store, output file store, data folder, auditing folder you can define the def then you can click on next As we did not change the default state, so it says the configuration is unchanged. So you can click on apply. It will ask you if you are sure and you want to apply the changes. You can click on apply. It will take some time to apply the changes. You can download the log files from here and you can download the response files from here. Once you are done with your configuration, you can click on the close option. As this is the administrator home page, you can organize the folders, categories, users and group profiles, servers, replication list, temporary storage, universes, connections, full app connections. You can define access levels, calendars, events user attribute management. You can also manage the applications, their settings, sessions, authentication, license key and you can obviously configure the results also as you are the administrator of the server. Now you should check the client tools. You can go on information design tool This is the additional feature you get after the versions from 4.0 and it is also available in 4.1. Here you can see the information design tool. You can create a new universe, you can create a project, you can create a relational connection, you can create an OLAP connection, you can open a project from here, you can convert between the universes from here. The difference between information design tool and universe design tool is you can have multiple connections to the databases using information design tool but you cannot do the same in universe design tool. You, you should also check universe design tool You should provide with the system name.
username as administrator and your password and you can keep the authentication type to be enterprise and click on OK this is the first screen you get when you open the universe design tool for the first time you can click on this checkbox to run the wizard at the startup of the server you can check check the business objects web intelligence rich client tool also this is the tool which we use on universes to create the reports you can choose a data source to create the documentation from here you can choose a universe an excel sheet or a bex query and you can create the documents from it you can start to use all your components and tools. Thanks for watching this video.